mass clock the numerical analysis numerical differentiation newton's backward intercalation formulas for derivative youtube channel mass clock girl provide you easy mathematics techniques whatsapp number email address my name is saeed ahmed shah i am professor in quiz nawab shah bismillah rahman rahim topics finite difference table Newton's backward interpolation formulas for derivatives. Finite difference table. Writing the values of the independent variable x in the first column. Writing the values of the dependent variable f of x in second column. We are taking five points. Equal length of interval problem. Taking the first differences. f of a plus h minus f of a say del f of a f of a plus 2h minus f of a plus h say del f of a plus h f of a plus 3h minus f of a plus 2h say del f of a plus 2h f of a plus 4h minus f of a plus 3h say del f of a plus 3h Taking the second differences, del f of a plus h minus del f of a, say del two f of a, del f of a plus two h minus del f of a plus h, say del two f of a plus h, del f of a plus three h minus del f of a plus two h, say del two f of a plus two h. Taking the third differences. Del two f of a plus h minus del two f of a say del three f of a del two f of a plus two h minus del two f of a plus h say del three f of a plus h taking the four difference del three f of a plus h minus del three f of a say del four f of a derivative below center of table. Suppose we want to calculate the derivative at the value a plus 4h. Against value is f of a plus 4h. Draw the backward diagonal from here. We will have to take the those values which are lying in backward diagonal. First difference, second difference, third difference, and fourth difference. Applying the Newton's backward interpolation formulas for derivatives. Derive Newton's backward interpolation formulas for derivatives. Y is equal to y n plus u del y n plus u u plus one divided by two factorial del two y n plus u u plus one u plus two divided by three factorial. Del three y n plus u u plus one u plus two u plus three divided by four factorial. Del four y n plus dot 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 say equation number one. It is the formula comes from the interpolation. This is called the Newton's forward interpolation formula. Where u is equal to x minus x n divided by h say equation number two. This is the complete Newton's forward interpolation formula. Differentiate it. So we will have to use the chain rule. dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. Say equation number three. Now equation one becomes simplifying the equation one. Y is equal to y n plus u del y n plus u multiplied by bracket u plus one. So we can write u square plus u divided by two factorial. Del two y n. Similarly, multiplying these three uh, factors, then we can write u cube plus three u square plus two u divided by three factorial. Then del three y n. Similarly, multiplying these factors, so we can write u raised to the power four plus six u cube plus eleven u square plus six u divided by four factorial. Del four y n. Plus dot dot. This process continues. Differentiating with respect to u, we get because y is a function of u in this equation. 
so taking the first derivative dy by du this is equal to the derivative of yn is 0 u is 1 so we have del yn the plus the derivative of u square is 2u 1 u means 1 divided by 2 factorial del 2 yn plus 3 u square plus 6 u plus 2 divided by 3 factorial del 3 yn plus 4 u cube plus 18 u square plus 22 u plus 6 divided by 4 factorial del 4 yn this process continues say I am saying say this equation number 4 substituting this value dy by du from equation number 4 here in equation number 3 in place of dy by du then differentiate equation number 2 so that you can get the value of du by dx so differentiating u with respect to x or uh, it will be du by dx x derivative 1 0 divided by h 1 by h substituting here differentiating 2 with respect to x we get du by dx is equal to 1 by h 5 say equation number 5 now equation 3 becomes dy by dx is equal to 1 by h or putting this value let's see here dy by dx this value putting in there in equation number 3 and du by dx putting 1 by h or writing 1 by h first so this is called the first derivative say equation number 6 differentiating with respect to x we get again taking the derivative again using the chain rule d2y over dx2 can be written as d over dx dy by dx replacing dx by du so we can write d over du dy by dx or du by dx substituting dy by dx value here or du by dx here or take the derivative writing 1 by h first value of du by dx du over du which is the same the value of dy by dx is 1 by h or this expansion writing here again take the second derivative one by h multiple constant taking out it will be one by h square the effect of the operator on the expansion is derivative zero is derivative one two by two factorial is derivative six u six is derivative twelve u square thirty six u or twenty two u let's see the say equation number seven from 6 and 7 we note that our dash of xn and our double dash of xn at x is equal to xn when u is equal to 0 when we are putting in place of x in equation number 2 is xn it means 0 0 by h means 0 u will be 0 So putting u is equal to 0 in equation number 6. So putting here u is equal to 0. It means 1 over 2 factorial. Putting here 0, 2 over 3 factorial. Putting 0, 1 over 4 factorial. So we have result 1 by h del y n plus 1 upon 2 del 2 y n plus 1 over by 3 del 3 y n plus 1 by 4 del 4 y n plus minus dot dot because alternate sign sorry it will be plus not a minus our term will be positive similarly we are putting u is equal to 0 and 7 equation so it will become 6 by 6 22 by 24 then we have a second formula uh, this negative not come all terms will be positive or uh, here all term will be positive in the first and second derivative these are called the Newton's differentiation formulas 
calculate f dash of 3.0 f double dash of 3.0 the data which is given in the form of a table x 1 1.5 2 2.5 3 y is equal to f of x 1.729 1.691 1.505 1.416 1.311 Check the length of the interval 1.5 minus 1 say length is 0 0.5 difference is 0 0.5 2.0 minus uh, 1.5 0 0.5 2.5 minus 2.0 0 0.5 3.0 0 minus 2.5 0 0.5 this says length is equal say 0 0.5 say h is it is an equal length of interval problem finite difference table Writing the values of the x in first column, f of x in second column, taking the differences 1.691 minus 1.729 minus 0 0.038, 1.505 minus 1.691 minus 0 0.186, 1.416 minus 1.505, say minus 0 0.089. 1.311 minus 1.416 say minus 0 0.105 taking the second difference del 2 minus 0 0.186 plus 0 0.038 because minus minus will be plus difference is minus 0 0.148 minus 0 0.089 minus minus plus 0 0.186 0 0.097 minus 0 0.105 minus minus plus 0 0.089 minus 0 0.016 taking the third difference says 0 0.097 minus minus plus 0 0.148 say 0 0.245 minus 0 0.016 minus 0 0.097 minus 0 0.113 Take the four difference minus 0 0.113 minus 0 0.245 say minus 0 0.358 We want to calculate the derivative below the center at the value 3 Mark this value against value is 1.311 Draw the backward diagonal from this value So we will have to take the first difference minus 0 0.105 Take the second difference minus 0 0.016. Take the third difference minus 0 0.113. Take the fourth difference minus 0 0.358. Writing the Newton's backward interpolation formula for derivative. Writing the first derivative formula y dash xn is equal to 1 upon h. Bracket open del y n plus 1 by 2 del 2 y n plus 1 by 3 del 3 y n plus 1 by 4 del 4 y n plus dot 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 this process continue y double dash of x n is equal to 1 of 1 h square del 2 y n plus del 3 y n plus 11 over 12 del 4 y n plus dot 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 this process continue we are writing the first derivative formula and second derivative formula after writing these formulas here h is equal to 0 0.5 because it is the equal length of interval problem let's see here 1.5 minus 1 say h is bars of 0.5 or we want to calculate the derivative at the value of 3 let's see here so x is 3 Now putting in the formula, y dash of 3, 3 means 3.0, 1 by h means 1 over 0 0.5, del y n, first de difference comes from the table, say minus 0 0.105, second difference plus 1 by 2, putting the second difference value minus 0 0.016, putting the third difference minus 0 0.113, putting the fourth difference minus 0 0.358. Let's see the table, putting these differences, which are lying in the diagonal. Then simplifying it, 
we have a first derivative f dash 3.0 is equal to minus 0 0.480 table 3 putting these values in the second derivative here placing 0 0.5 whole square putting the second differences x is 3 the second derivative at x is equal to 3 putting here h is 0 0.5 whole square putting the values of the differences after putting the differences del 2 del 3 del 4 then simplifying it y double dash 3.0 is equal to 1.828 triple 6 and of the lecture